Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, all the freedom fighters around the world. Good morning, brothers African. Good morning, brothers from Europe. Brothers from the America and uh, Asia. Uh, this video will not be so long, but um, I wanted to clarify two things. As I told you, our coalition, international coalition against uh, COVID-19 is here to change people mindset. Our coalition is here to change white people mindset, to change African people mindset and to act. Yes, since the beginning we are aware that this COVID-19 is a fake one. We are aware that COVID-19 is uh, the most dangerous, you know, phenomenon uh, called the pandemic and that we call also pandemic that have, have ever existed. So um, it is an arm, it is a bacteriological arm used today to put freedom fighters in prison, to put our countries in prison, to put black, white, yellow, any, 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 anybody in prison. And it is something that is used by the people that they call um, Bill Gates, they call them um, World Health Organization, they call them UN, and so on. So what do we have to do? We don't need to think and uh, stay at home. We don't need to cry and stay at home. We don't need to accept the dictatorship they are doing. They wanted to put all of us in jail at home without you know, any, any way of defending ourselves. They wanted to block us, to put us in prison at home in order to be able to control the world health, in order to be able later on to put all of us under the vaccine system. This is all. So it is good that everybody has, 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 has understood it. It is good that in Africa or in Europe, people have seen how they have failed to cure the, or to heal the sick ones. How they, do the, they did it deliberately because uh, they fell into, in, into doing the best diagnosis, they fell into, doing, into finding the best medicine, and they fell into saying the truth to the people in America and in Europe. As we Africans, we are realizing that despite the fact that they have, they have been saying it will be in Africa, we will see the, the worst death toll in Africa with COVID-19, unfortunately for them, they have realized that there have not been that the case. Oh, I don't think there is more than 1,000 people dead in Africa because of COVID-19. And uh, we have seen how they took advantage of this pandemic to kill people in Europe and in America. That's where I must stand before you on behalf of international coalition against COVID-19 to say to our brothers in Europe and America that we are standing by them, we support them, we share their sorrow, we share what we all these governments without any kind of shame, without any kind of responsibility, they kill our brothers and sisters. So the solidarity, the kind of solidarity Africans want to express must be a very, a very, a very, a very big solidarity action. I am still thinking, what can we do to show to our brothers in Europe that we are with them and we feel what they are feeling and the trauma they are going through, we are going through as well. Let's say to our brothers in America that the young people, the workers, the elderly people, that have, that, that have been killed by the system in Europe and America are our brothers and sisters. They are black, they are white people, but they are human. We are human. And this is why we, 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 we continue to say that COVID-19 came against human beings. COVID-19 came against our brothers and sisters, no matter your color no matter your religion, no matter your political viewpoint. That's why we have to unite. We have to unite 
against a system because the ter terrorism, dictatorship, poverty, and uh, anything you can imagine is from the same people. Any bad situation the human being can live in today are coming from the same source. Brothers and sisters, let's unite against the system to organize a very, very revolutionary answer, a very, very revolutionary fight back. George Floyd's death by the police in America has, is not different. What is happening in America is, is coming from the same source. We have to unite to defeat racism. We have to unite to defeat neoliberalism. We have to unite the exploitation of those people who want to kill us. This is the reality. And this is our solidarity. This is a practical solidarity. We have to organize to defend ourselves. We have to organize a very radical answer to COVID-19, to racism, to division, to poverty, to exploitation, and defeat capitalism, and defeat neoliberalism, and to defeat those who, de who are dividing us, to exploit us, and to kill us every day. We need to unite to have our own, our own agenda for democracy, for freedom, for human rights, and for justice. This, this killing of our brother in America, uh, Floyd, George Floyd, will not, will not be different from what, is, what has happened for, for, for COVID-19. If today people can stand up in America you know, to burn everything because of George Floyd, this is good. But this is the same thing we should be able to organize for, you know, uh, uh, for COVID-19. Because COVID-19 has killed thousands and thousands of people, black and white, together. Brothers and sisters, we should never come back. We should never set back. We should never refuse to see the reality and organize better. If you can stand up for George Floyd like this, let's stand up for COVID and kick them away. We have to kill this system of exploitation of mass killing, of pandemic, of war. This is the same thing in Africa. We don't want their uh, you know, vaccine. We don't want them, their COVID testing, because all this is lie, a big lie, a big plot. Let's unite today, I won't be long. Let's unite together, we will succeed. Together, we will kill COVID-19 and the killer of George Floyd in America. In solidarity, in solidarity, we shall win. Thank you very much.